Uh, I think we should be good to go here. And uh, I'm going to... They've made some changes to uh, Google Hangouts, so I think we may, may need to restart here. And uh, I'm looking for a little bit of feedback to make sure that uh, we're up and live. So let me see really quickly. Uh, I think we should be good. So um, I've got a couple of things here just to make sure. Uh, I apologize for any delays on anybody else's end. Uh, Technology is always a little bit exciting. I uh, already had one internet item today and uh, Google Hangouts has changed uh, a little bit about how they operate. So we're just trying to make sure that we're good to go here, but I think we're solid. So um, thanks for being here today. We're going to talk about some exciting stuff. We're going to talk about getting listings sold more quickly. Uh, we try to sell them in less than seven days and for top dollar. So um, uh, if you're here, you may be frustrated with a lot of the same things that I've been frustrated with, uh, with sellers calling and complaining why is my house still on the market? What are you doing? How come we don't have offers? Frustrated about having to discuss price reductions with sellers constantly and the annoyance of having to make those phone calls and talk about why we need to reduce price, why we couldn't get our original asking price, things like that. Um, so if you're sick of that side of the business or you're frustrated with doing a bunch of work and not getting paid for 60, 90, 120 days, maybe even more in your market, then you're in the right place. Uh, this is going to be a discussion about uh, how to alleviate some of those frustrations. So um, uh, what you're going to learn today is, uh, is how to differentiate yourself in the marketplace. Um, you know, how to overcome those complaining clients, how to set expectations appropriately uh, where you're not going to have to have as many of those conversations and you might not have any of those conversations about price reductions and frustrated sellers, where instead you're dealing with getting phenomenal client feedback and testimonials that then you can reuse in your marketing to find new great clients to get home sold as quickly as possible for top dollar again. Um, if you're frustrated with your statistics looking bad, I've been there too. Um, with you sitting at a listing appointment talking to a seller about how you're going to be able to get their home sold quickly for top dollar, but you know your statistics show that your average days on market is 80 or 90 or 120 and you know that that's not as competitive as you'd like to be, it's not as um, as impressive as you'd like it to be, then that's what we're going to talk about here again. Um, if uh, to know statistically uh, what range you can get in that that becomes an effective part of your marketing, we'll talk about that as well. If you'd like to be more profitable on the listing side of your business, that's one of my favorite topics, we'll certainly talk about that as well. Um, so, quicker sales, more money. Who's interested? I know I am. So um, let me tell you a little bit about, um, you know, uh, what will, what could be different about your business uh, after after discussing what we've discussed here today. So um, there's a really really good chance that you're struggling with being the same as other people in your market, whether you want to or not, being perceived as the same as other folks in your market. Once you've got a grasp on getting your listing sold quickly and getting your listing sold above market value, um, that completely changes the game uh, for marketing for you. Uh, go through some notes I've got here on, uh, on how you can do that at an extremely high level. So what I want to do for you um, is walk you through how uh, to find additional profits, how to become significantly more confident in your listing process and uh, how to have clients coming to you because you're known as the guy or the gal that sells property extremely fast for super, super high prices. Um, so you will be personally different by implementing in this in your business. Your business will be completely different and it's possible that your market will be. If you're in this business for the same reason I am, which is to truly have impact on people's lives and your clients' lives, selling properties as quickly as it's, as it's possible to do can be a big time game changer for you, your business, your market, and for those clients and for their lives and their financial futures. And that's a big deal. So uh, if for some reason somebody didn't make this uh, this hangout or for some reason you leave early, you know, you're going to miss out on quite a bit. I would say most likely what you're going to miss out on is um, 
is how to completely separate yourself in the marketplace, how to differentiate yourself from your competition in the marketplace, how to be known as the person that does those two key things, sells property quickly and for more money. And that's fortunately for us what we've been able to become known for in our market. Uh, and it's made it a lot of fun, to be honest with you. So um, uh, if you make it with us uh, on the end, I'm going to offer a, a couple of quick little bonuses for folks that have made it all the way through with us and uh, asked good questions and participated really well. For the person that asked the absolute best question on this call, uh, I'm going to give a copy of my uh, a program I put together called Permission to Profit. Really, really good, Im good information in there on how to be more profitable in your business utilizing this strategy and some others. Uh, it's pretty extensive. It's a pretty meaty deal. Uh, 170 pages of material, six hours of audio, uh, and that will go to uh, to the person that asked the best question on this call uh, or on this hangout. So, uh, should be fun. Uh, should be something that's extremely worth uh, your time and my time, and I'm hoping that we'll all learn something from each other. So, who the heck am I? Uh, why are you listening to a guy like me? Um, I'll just tell you that I started out like a lot of folks. Um, not really knowing what the heck I was doing. Uh, I started kind of as an investor and then quickly was an independent agent with a hundred percent broker who didn't have a whole lot to offer, didn't offer really any education or training at all. Um, and really I found um, that I did not know what I was doing, that I was struggling in the business, that I was looking for leads, I was looking for business, I was looking for systems and strategies and um, you know I, I, wasn't <laughs> I wasn't marketing well for sure. Uh, if I was fortunate enough to get a listing, I would put a sign up and 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 do all the things that that drive me nuts now um, when agents do them, which is to go back to the office and stare at the computer all day and hope that somebody sold that listing for me. You know, of course, I tried to sell it, but I just really didn't know what to do. Um, and so I had some success simply because I was tenacious and hardworking and creative, but uh, nothing was consistent. So ultimately, I bought a national franchise. And for about five years, I ran a franchise um, that was that was okay. I learned a lot. I did a lot of volume in the business, um, but it really wasn't in line with where my core values were, where my passion was to provide world-class value to my clients. Um, so after five years as a franchise owner, uh, I went back to being an independent broker, uh, opened my own shop, you know, kind of branded under under my company name, under my personal name as well. And uh, you know, and begin to build a team concept. Since doing that, we've, you know, we we've realized where the missing value was in that process, and we've really started to have a ton of fun selling a lot of houses, you know, on the buyer side and the seller side. We've really become known in our marketplace. Uh, I've become known as the guy that sells homes really quickly in our market, kind of known as the seven-day sale guy, and we can talk more about that, but. Um, I started to figure out within about a 90-day period what was missing. And as I layered in systems and strategies and marketing, literally within about a three-month period, we went from having properties sit on the market for three, four, five, six months um, to having our average listing sell in less than 30 days. And since then, we've brought that number down significantly. Um, and you've, you know, you've seen some of my numbers. We're, 84% or more of our houses are selling in less than 30 days and last I checked right around 50% of our houses are selling in less than two days and on average across the board all of those are selling for 6.7% above market average sales price in our marketplace um, and literally the big, the big shift to get there happened within about a 90 day period uh, it was crazy um, so um, we went from an average, honestly, really sadly, we went from an average of over 150 days on market um, to uh, about six days on market as an average for us across all of our properties. And so that's what I want to share with you today. So if that's valuable to you, tune in, heads up, turn the volume up, close the door, turn off the cell phone, shut down email, and uh, and we can talk through how we do that and hopefully how you can do that and hopefully this information is valuable for you. Um, so the first thing I would say that really I had to do and that you'll need to do uh, to make a big shift in how quickly you sell your properties and for how much you sell your properties um, is really to get my mindset right. And, and when I say mindset, I don't mean warm and fuzzy, you know, woo-woo stuff. I mean, there's 
are are winners and losers when it comes to to listing property. You know, there are listing agents we call it marketing agent um, that do this really really badly. You know, um, and I want to talk through some of the things that they do. Um, and there are people that do this really really well. Um, but you've got to consider your approach, your mindset. It's not just jump out there and do it. Although I am a big fan of taking action and making corrections and and getting back into it. But um, uh, you know, there's a word that comes to mind for me, and it's commoditization. And unfortunately, in our industry, um, we've been made to believe, and the consumer has been made to believe that really we're a commodity. That all, we're all the same. We offer the same value. Uh, we do the same things. We we uh, we have a system kind of that we all follow. That all quote realtors are the same. Um, and I want you uh, to break out of that mindset and to understand that you're not a commodity. You're a you're a person, and you're offering a service. And hopefully, you've got business systems behind you to deliver a unique value that nobody else in your marketplace is going to deliver. Whether you're an individual, you know, producer, or you're a team leader, or you're a brokerage owner, or really any category that you fall in, you have the ability to be different and to offer a different level of value. And I really, really want you to think about that beyond the obvious, which is obviously I'm different and I do something different. But what do you want to offer? What level of value do you want to deliver? If you want to be a really low cost um, kind of do it all for less. I've been there. That did not work for me. That was not where really my mind and my heart and my passion was. But if that's where you are, um, you're probably not going to really like the system that I'm sharing. Um, if your mindset is that you know you're already somebody who's doing more than the average agent in your area, you're already somebody whose passion is to deliver world-class value, is to find a better way, is to put more money in your seller's pocket and do that quicker then you're in the right place and you're getting to where that mindset is right to implement a system like this so you know I would strongly 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 advise that you spend some time uh, addressing your thinking around how you sell homes and what your goals are for your sellers and for you and for your team um, so um, there there are seven uh, of the most common mistakes I've found um, that listing or marketing agents are making that they're getting this wrong. They're falling on the on the losing side of listing homes and selling them quickly and for max profit. And um, and we'll talk through those. Um, some of them are kind of funny. Some of them aren't. And there are more than seven. But these are some of the most common ones really that I've come up with. And I've just jotted some notes down that I'll share with you guys. But you know, one of the big things I see listing agents in my area do. Um, is it's a big priority for them to get a property on the market as fast as humanly possible. And I think that's a huge mistake. Um, it's really not a race to get a home on the market. It's a, um, if there is a race, it's a race to get, to get dollars in your client's pocket and, and for you to get compensated as well. So a lot of times what that means is you know, somebody's rushing out to the house for a listing appointment and they want to get a signed contract and then immediately get a sign in the yard and get it on on the multiple listing system. The risk there is that you're not you're not preparing for success. So if your goal is to sell a home in seven days or less, it's not always about getting the sign out there and getting it on MLS as fast as humanly possible, because that eliminates your ability to really really position that home uh, for maximum profit for quickest sale. Um, and we want to do some things in that positioning phase, in that preparation phase, um, that are going to get us to our, our desired result. You know, and for us, just a couple of those things is, you know, we include professional home staging, world class photography, incentives to buyers and buyers agents. Um, I just, I, there's no way I have time to explain all of those little things. But just to say, there's there's a handful of things that we need to do and the preparation stage before getting a house on the market. If we rush out there and do that too soon, then we've really lost a lot of the power we have, a lot of the influence and leverage we have to get that home sold more quickly and for more money. So rushing onto the market is a huge mistake that I see and it happens a lot. You know, another huge mistake I see from listing agents is letting the client lead the process. Uh, and this goes back a little bit to the mindset part. You've got to know um, 
that you have a level of expertise that your client needs to, to follow. They need to defer to you, just like they would defer to a, a very well-respected attorney or accountant. Um, you've got to be on that same level. So you've got to set expectations early that that's your level of expertise and you have an expectation that they're going to follow your lead. Now, we always tell our clients, it's your decision to make, but I'm here to make sure that you're equipped to make the best decision. So you've got to be willing to lead and you've got to be willing to tell a client, this is how we're going to sell your home and not constantly be afraid of their criticism or their preconceived notions of how it's supposed to be done. So you've got to lead. Another huge mistake there is letting the client lead. Um, one of my just most frustrating mistakes that I see people make is trying to quote save money on marketing. And what I mean by that is they're not willing to invest in the marketing process. You know, if you want to sell homes quicker and for more money and you want to be compensated for doing that, you've got to be willing to invest in that process as well. You know, so you see a lot of agents doing um, you know, ineffective flyer marketing, signs that don't elicit any sort of call to action, any sort of response. There's no tracking element to it at all. And they believe that they're saving money, but what they're doing is they're giving up the potential profit that can be had without a lot of difficulty by having a great system in place, by really investing in the process. You know, and on the simple side, this is where you see an agent taking photos, you know, with their phone and throwing them up on the internet. Uh, at night in the rain with their hand in the mirror in the bathroom and, and these things where they're quote saving money but really what they're doing is they're giving up the potential for huge profit for their client and for themselves and they're really killing their ability to sell that property quickly. So again, I could go on and on and on about the saving money on marketing thing and the, the stupid stupid stuff that agents do and I've done before too. Um, but those are a few of the keys and just the general idea of trying to save money on that front end of marketing really does not work well when your goal is to uh, to sell homes quickly and for more money. So um, I, I, uh, I'm a big negotiator. I love the negotiation process and uh, I think uh, one of the big mistakes people make is when they um, they wait until they have a contract to start negotiating. And that may sound a little bit crazy to you, and, and most of you guys know that as a licensed real estate professional, there's very little, usually zero, required negotiation training um, to represent someone and negotiate on their behalf. So that's kind of crazy, but that's a soapbox discussion for another day. But um, I, I think it's a foolish mistake to wait until we have a contract to begin negotiating. And a lot of people think, well, that's all we are going to negotiate is the contract. But I believe that our role as a negotiator is, is to impact our client's ultimate outcome. Anything I do that's going to impact my client's ultimate outcome in the area of, 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 uh, of dollars, of their finances, of their time, their energy, their stress, the level of engagement that's required of them to get the job done is negotiation. And that could be everything from how my team answers the phone when somebody calls to request documentation or information. Um, it could be how we deliver that information and that documentation, how we communicate, um, how quickly we communicate, the quality of information we provide, the story that we tell about the property, the story that we tell or the allow, amount of information we, uh, we allow to be shared about our seller or their situation. All of these things are negotiation and so we're planting seeds even in how we write a property description, how we take photos, how we communicate, how we publish, how we distribute those things, we're positioning ourselves for leverage when it comes time to work out the details of price, dates, uh, prorations, who's paying for what, when are things going to happen. When those key terms come into place, we want to have long before planted seeds and positioned our client for maximum leverage, maximum power, maximum influence in this process to get them exactly what they want and ultimately what we want too, which is a quicker sale for more money and bigger profit for us. And, and I do want to take a second to recognize not every client wants to sell their house in two days. So if a client has a different timeline, that's fine, but you want the ability to sell quickly if that is what they want and that's that's really what we're talking about. So another one of those huge mistakes that I see uh, really is a failure to pre-sell properties. And what I mean is 
Um, there's there's a bag of tricks that can be utilized long before even a, a listing or marketing appointment is had or before a property goes live to pre-sell property and that could be everything from building a list of active buyers in your marketplace uh, to having a you know a database of buyers that are in your system whether it be online lead generation direct mail responses radio responses referrals um, email requests walk-in visitors open house visitors any sort of other event uh, you know, there's a million different things you could do, but if you're not utilizing the data, the information, the relationship, the marketing contacts, the systems that you have prior to that appointment and prior to going live on the market, then you're passing up a huge opportunity to sell your properties quicker and, of course, to get more money. Um, so that's, you know, we could talk about that one for days and days too, but that's a, that's a key element there as well. Um, another big mistake I see listing and marketing agents make um, is they blend in with the other listing and marketing agents. They really try to do what everyone else is doing. And my experience has been I've been most successful when I try to do what everyone else is not doing and when I try not to do what everyone else is doing. So if everybody in your market is using the old you know, text here for more info, do something else. Do a free recorded message line. You know, do a direct to buyer agent tracking line. Um, if everybody else is putting prices on flyers, you know, don't put the price on yours. Don't do that anyway. Um, you know, but if everybody else is doing virtual tours, find something else. Uh, if everybody else is doing open houses, do open houses differently. Um, but but blending in with the rest of the marketing and the rest of the agents in your marketplace, I think, is a huge huge mistake, um, and really is a problem uh, when it comes to wanting to have different results. You know, same effort, different results is not likely to happen. Um, one of my big, big, big ones is, is the number seven one I've got down here is um, big mistake that listing and marketing agents make is not creating urgency. And that's where pre-selling can really come into place is, hey, you know, it's not quite on the market yet. If you'd like to be the first one to see it before this huge, you know, rush of showings happens, let me know and maybe I could get you in Saturday morning. Um, but not creating urgency is a big, big lost opportunity. It's a big mistake when you want to sell a home quickly. Uh, scarcity and urgency are two of the most powerful tools that we've got. We can create scarcity even if we have a high inventory market by making our property look, feel, and truly be so different that there's really no competition. It's a one-of-a-kind property and that may be on how we do photos or staging or some repairs up front or how we market it differently to a different target market or a niche buyer or a price point or as a different type of use for a property than traditionally you'd be thinking. There's a lot of different ways to create that scarcity and there's a, a few different ways to create urgency as well. Pre-selling is one of them. Another, uh, you know, with our seven day sale program, oftentimes we'll only do one day of showings. We'll market it aggressively for six days and then have a one-day sale event where you're only able to see it one day and it almost feels like an auction, but like a, on the positive side of an auction to drive price up as opposed to an auction where price gets driven down a lot of times. So, um, you know, without creating urgency, you're, you're passing up a huge, huge opportunity to get your listing sold more quickly and for more money. Um, I did go ahead and add an eight. I said it was the seven most common mistakes, but I, I added number eight because I thought this one was huge, but not differentiating. And that goes back to blending in, but it's on a different level. There's one thing to say, I just kind of blend in my market. I fit in with the other agents. It's another to say that you truly differentiate yourself, your company, your team, even on a level beyond just how do I find a buyer for a listing, but how am I marketing even to get listings? Am I attracting the kind of listing client that fits the kind of system that will sell a home more quickly? So am I attracting the kind of seller that tends to be more motivated to sell quickly, wants to sell quickly, is willing to do some things that are necessary to get a home sold more quickly? So, you know, for instance, one of the things like I've already mentioned is, you know, we do radio and online and direct mail and all kinds of different marketing. And one of our big, you know, USPs, one of our big driving marketing lines is that I'll sell your home in seven days or less at a price that you're happy with guaranteed. You know, we talk about um, selling over market value under market time. 
And so those are some of the guarantees and you know unique differentiating points that we use. But there's also a lot of different things we do, even in the way that we do photos, the way that we display them on the MLS, the way that we write our descriptions, the way that we schedule, take phone calls, communicate, deliver information. You want that experience for the buyer and their agent to feel different the whole time. That way, they can't find that experience someplace else, and they've got to move quickly. Um, you know, one thing that we talk about going back to preparation, uh, I call it the cupcake factor. We want to create the cupcake factor in our properties, and that's differentiation, that's urgency, in that if you've ever been to a little kid's birthday party and you've seen cupcakes, there's usually some kid that's like eyeing the cupcakes early, and he really wants one before he's supposed to have it, and a lot of times they'll grab one and just, you know, they'll lick it so no one else can have it. It's totally gross. But that's the, that's the feeling we want to create in our properties that when a buyer walks in that they literally say, you know, I want this house and I don't want anyone else to be able to have it. They look at their buyer agent and they say, you know, what do I have to do? How much do I have to offer and how quickly do I have to do it and what else do I need to do to make sure that nobody else can have this house? I want it and I don't want anyone else to have to have it, to be able to have it. And so that's where creating a truly differentiated position in your marketplace really, really comes into play. Um, and I, I think that's huge. Um, if you want to sell homes quickly, you, you've got to be perceived as your by your prospective clients as someone that can do that. Their expectation, their initial response to who you are in your marketing, which, by the way, always happens before they meet with you. They're checking you out online. They're asking around town, that kind of thing, um, has got to be one that's differentiated from the other people in the marketplace. That way, their expectation and their willingness to be led by you and their willingness to follow your system is higher than it would be really in any other scenario. So um, we've talked a little bit about a winning mentality, a mindset versus a losing mentality. Uh, we've talked about seven, I gave you a bonus, eight common mistakes that people make in, uh, in trying to sell homes more quickly that causes them to fail. And then we've also um, um, talked about some specifics in each of those areas. Uh, I just wanted to share, you, you know, you may be sitting there thinking, this all looks and sounds great, but, you know, uh, I'm not sure it really is true or it could be done. So I'm just going to tell you a couple of stories, and I just need to check our time here. Uh, it looks like we've got plenty of time, and I do want to have some time for questions, so I'll make sure that I uh, that I open that up. Um, if there are any questions, you should have a sidebar over there where you can ask questions. I may have screwed that up. It wouldn't be the first time that uh, the Google Hangouts has tripped me up, but feel free to submit a question, and I'll be happy to answer as many of those as I can. Uh, I did have some already kind of come in by email, so I'll be happy to answer some of those. Um, but I can just give you a few stories recently. I can think of several. Uh, we We had... Uh, this was a funny one because our client was a professional photographer and she still raved about the photography that we had done on her house. So that was a huge positive. But the big thing was uh, her home had been listed by two companies previously. It had been on the market for a total of, I want to say, 240 days you know, combined between the two different companies. Um, and she had had one offer the entire time for $40,000 below her original asking price. And of course they had had her drop the price every 30 days, whatever. Um, so we were able to come in, uh, price it about 5000 higher than she had ever priced it before, and within 72 hours had it sold for about 6000 above our asking price. So for 11000 above anything she had ever asked before. And this was about a $260,000 home, so you can kind of see the, the, the ballpark there. Um, I, th I want to say we had nine showings the first two days. We had multiple offers, all above asking price. Um, she, of course, accepted. Um, I think we closed in three and a half weeks, maybe, uh, and she had already moved out of state. So she was ecstatic. As a matter of fact, she provided a really great testimonial for some of our radio ads, and she has a British accent, though, so that's kind of cool. That's one we can run with for a while. <clears throat> but that's just one example of somebody who had tried selling a home, uh, you know, who was very, very skeptical who had had agents in the past tell her, you know, we can sell it quickly and we can sell it for a bunch of money. And, um, you know, she truly felt like, you know, all you guys say the same thing. You all overpromise. You all underdeliver. Uh, everybody wants to tell me they can sell it for what I want, and then they want to drop the price, drop the price, and then it still doesn't sell. 
Um, and so she was really beat down. She was really, really frustrated. She was really standoffish initially. You know, we really had to joke with her and soften her up and get her to know our whole team. And eventually she, you know, she really, really kind of fell in love with us and understood how we were, again, differentiated and how we were going to create scarcity, you know, and, and, and really present a differentiated approach. Um, and, and we succeeded. You know, we did what we said we would do. Uh, we showed her our track record of numbers. We gave her some case studies of how that worked. And then she became, you know, a success story for us. You know, I can think of another one. This guy was hilarious. Um, this guy sells records out of his house. He's got like four bedrooms full of records. I mean, it was truly insane. Really, really nice guy, though. Um, and he had a similar experience. He had the house on the market for almost a year with an agent. Um, you know, guy, the guy told him he could sell it really, really quickly. Um, uh, couldn't sell it. You know, ended up dropping his commission, dropping the price. Didn't sell it for almost a full year. Uh, we put it under, uh, put it on the market. Same scenario. Walked them through how we could do this differently. Reached out to them. Had an appointment. Um, were able to earn the opportunity. Started to build trust and rapport with them. Uh, I think that one took us five days. A uh, little over asking price on that. Huge, huge fan. You know, he's been sending us tons and tons of referrals. Uh, he's the one that calls us the quick sale guys, which is scary because that's almost like a foreclosure type term in our market. But um, you know, but this this is doable. You know, this can absolutely be done. And um, you know, if if you got on this hangout, if you responded to um, to a message about this uh, about this system about getting home sold quickly and for more money, I just want you to know that it can be done. Uh, we do it a lot, and you can do it too. Um, and it's not uh, it's not a crazy difficult thing to do. Um, we have a ton of fun with it. Our business is so much more fun since implementing these principles than it was when it was just a constant grind. It was a constant hustle. It was a constant frustration up against griping sellers and and constant price reductions and even having to have systems for reevaluating pricing and marketing every 30 days and we still do that on an occasional listing that goes that long it's really rare for us but um, if that's frustrating to you I just want you to know that this is doable I, I could tell you stories about those things for hours and hours and hours and I get all jacked up and excited about it because we have so much fun with it uh, and it really just changes the business it allows your marketing to be more exciting because you can say look you know check out what your name you know, we're selling houses incredibly fast. Um, it's just a lot of fun. And so I want you to have that kind of fun in your business too. And if I can help you do that, I'd love to do it. Um, so if you showed up wanting to stop having to deal with that crud with your sellers, if you showed up wanting to have better systems, if you showed up wanting um, to be able to be more profitable and to change your marketing based on your, your new results, your new profitability, improve your statistics, um, then, then what you've learned today is that it's doable. There's some key strategies to getting that done. And hopefully what you found is there's some key things not to do. Um, and that will affect uh, the way you move forward in your business. Um, so the obvious thing here is that you can do this and you should start doing this. So um, here's what I've done for you. Um, I've put together a system, uh, just a, a way for me to share exactly what I do and how I do it. Um, and, and I've been doing this for a while now uh, with some folks that want to build their teams. Uh, they want to sell properties more quickly, get more money for their clients, and put more money in their own pocket. Um, and so I, I've started consulting uh, with, with other agents and team leaders and brokerage owners, and, and I want to offer you an opportunity to work with me um, in, in doing that. But I will say before, before I give you the specifics on that, uh, it's definitely not for everyone. Um, I'm not a big huge company trying you know trying to do this with a hundred or five hundred clients <clears throat> you know I keep a couple of handfuls of people and I really have a lot of fun and we become friends and I share pretty much everything that I do on my team this is one key area selling homes quickly for more money and being more profitable but there's a lot of other things that I do with my consulting clients but um, it, this is not for you you know if you're in the market for like a really cheap coaching type situation that that's not what I do when I think of coaching, I think of a very specific set program that somebody walks you through. It doesn't cost a lot of money, but you don't get a lot of value out of it. So that's that's not what I do. 
what I do is, is admittedly, it's, it's not cheap, but there's a tremendous amount of value there for you. Um, and then um, it, this is not for someone that's lazy. And I'll just be honest with you. If you're someone that's looking for like a, hey, you know, I need a new widget to add to my website and everything's going to be easier, then, then I'm not your guy and, and I don't know where that widget is. Let me know if you find it. Um, but that's, not, that's really not what I do. Um, you know, if, if you're looking for that easy button type solution, this is certainly not terribly difficult, um, but it does require some work. Um, and so that's what I work with people on, on getting implemented into their businesses. Um, and so uh, it's not for everybody, but if, if you do want to work hard at building your business or your team, if you do want to increase your listing inventory and get listings sold more quickly and for more money and be more profitable in your business, then definitely you're going to want to you're going to want to talk to me about this. So there's going to be an opportunity for you uh, to click on a link here on the page and uh, and and get an application uh, to to work with me uh, for consulting. And so I'd like you to do that uh, if you're interested. Um, so there's really no way I could have covered all the pieces of what I do or even this specific system or how I can help you, um, but. Uh, there's a lot to it and so hopefully you've gotten some value and, and you've seen that you can do this and that it's not terribly difficult but it does require some work so um, I've built a system specifically for people like you that want to learn what I'm doing and what it includes is some monthly calls one-on-one -on -one between you and me as well as a group call between other people that are wanting to learn and implement the same systems <clears throat> how to sell homes more quickly my listing presentation completely there audio, video, all those kinds of things. It also includes two live events each year. You can come to Dallas where I am and I'll spend two days, two separate times with the other folks that are working with me. Um, the people that I'm currently working with, we're having a ton of fun and they're seeing crazy results immediately. Um, and uh, we'll all get together twice a year, spend specific time working on each other's business. Hey, what's working for you? What's not working for you? We'll give each other advice. We'll spend several hours all completely focused on one person's business and then switch to the next person's. We'll do that for sure. You'll get a newsletter that I write and put together every single month on specifics of how to implement new ideas into your business, how to be more profitable, how to differentiate in your marketplace, how to generate leads, how to convert those leads, how to sell quicker, how to make more money, how to adjust your fee structure and how to collect those uh, and, and then how to train other people on your team to do these same things so you don't have to be the only person doing these things. Um, you'll also get every single month what I call a take and train. Something that I have done that's educational that you can take and turn around and train your team. If you're solo you can you know use for personal training. If you have a team you can take it and just play the video for them or play the audio for them or print the PDF and hand it to them or you can tweak it and treat it as though it's your own deal and you created it and you have my permission to do that. You'll also get a monthly plug and play marketing idea. So that's something that I'm doing, a system within the business. It's usually marketing. It doesn't always have to be marketing. But you'll be able to immediately plug that into your business uh, within, you know, like one day. Switch the name, switch the photo, switch the domain name, the website, and immediately use that. You'll get one of those every month. I also do a monthly interview with an expert in one specific area of business. It's usually not real estate and the reason I do that is because there's a lot of real estate tools out there but I'm always looking for really cool unique ideas outside of the real estate industry and so I'll find really really cool people. Recently I did one with uh, a singer, songwriter and, and music publisher. Really some cool cool ideas that I never even thought would apply to real estate that I was able to immediately plug into my business uh, and when you hear that, you'll be able to plug it into your business. And it's a fun call, too. He's kind of a cool guy. Um, so there's one of those every month. Um, there's a private members-only site where you'll get access to those things uh, You know, if, if we end up working together. Um, there's a bunch of other things, probably a bunch of things that I forgot, um, but I'm constantly delivering more and more value, more and more access, bonus surprises, things like that. And uh, you get access to really anything I've got because I'm still running my team every single day listing and selling homes with my team. So documentation, paperwork, tracking systems, scripts, dialogues, everything you could think of, recommendations for vendors and technology and lead generation and all these different things are part of working with me. So um, 
Fi uh, click on the link uh, and get the application and this is a, this is how it will go. You fill out the application and I would do that right now because there is going to be a bonus for the first few people that do that. Um, I, just to say, I, I've only right now really got about six spots that I'm looking to fill um, and that's, that's legitimate. I, I only have a certain amount of time. I'm still running my real estate team. I do this because I love it and I'm, I'm not afraid to say I, I want to make a little bit of extra money. Um, but I do this because it's a lot of fun and it's helpful for other people uh, and I just don't have time to do you know do that with like 50 or 60 people that's not even my goal so I've got six spots right now the first three people that fill out the application uh, are gonna get a really really cool bonus that you'll know about if you're one of those people so um, if you send the application over to me here's what's gonna happen my team will evaluate that we'll call you back and let you know one of two things number one hey it's probably not a great fit thank you for applying we can we can touch base down the road or number two hey it looks like it could be a fit let's set up a call with Todd and then you guys can discuss moving forward uh, so filling out the application doesn't obligate you to anything it does get you in line for one of those six spots and if you're one of the first three then you're gonna get a special bonus uh, which I think you'll really really like I know you'll really really like it so what you're going to get out of consulting with me is a couple of things. Number one, you're going to get the complete system that we just didn't have time today to talk about as far as selling listings more quickly and for more money. The second thing you're going to get is everything else I have, meaning literally when we're working together, the reason I use the term consultant is because I view a coach as specific program to go start to stop with. When I think of consulting, I think of I have a resource, I have an expert, a professional to come alongside me show me where I have room for improvement, help me improve, point me in the right direction, provide resources, tools, things like that. So just as an example, you know, one of my, I've got a really great team that I'm working with, uh, another part of the country that recently just said, hey, you know, we're working on something that we can send out to prospective listings that are currently for sale by owner. So I sent them immediately a letter that I wrote for for sale by owner prospects and an email follow-up system that I think has 16 emails I, I gave them my entire system. I just sent it right over to them. They tweaked it, sent it back to me and asked, you know, what do you think about our changes? I made a few suggestions, sent it right back to them, and they are, have implemented it. And, and I'll, I'll find out in a couple of weeks, you know, what kind of results they're having, and then we'll help tweak and go from there. Um, I spent an hour on the phone last week with another one of my consulting clients talking about uh, improving their buyer agents conversion on internet leads and some scripting and walking through some challenges that they were having in their marketplace so that's the kind of thing we do so um, it, it's month to month I, I don't have a contract so you stick with me as long as it's valuable for you and then we go from there um, and uh, so fill out the application really really quick I'd love to open it up to questions really quick if there are any um, and just see um, what we've got. Um, let me see. Looks like we may not may not have any active ones right now. So um, I, I have had a couple sent in. You know, one of those questions was, okay, Todd, specifically, how are you utilizing, you know, your quicker sales in your marketing? And so um, I've already mentioned a little bit about that. But you know, we do radio ads. Uh, where my primary marketing push is um, uh, okay. I'll, I'm getting some more questions now. Uh, where our primary marketing push is um, your home sold in seven days, guaranteed. Um, and then we also do your home sold in seven days at a price that you'll be happy with and uh, guaranteed. Um, and we do that in direct mail. We do that online. We do that on radio, and and we get a lot of really good response. Primarily, the respondents are folks that um, you know have houses in the right price point for us that are that are already motivated. They're wanting to move forward really, really quickly. Um, that is one way that we differentiate. Another one is that we differentiate specifically by operating truly as a team, and we put that in our marketing. That I believe each person is created with unique, God-given gifts and abilities, and so we have buyers agents that only work with buyers and listing agents that only work with listing with sellers and you guys have probably seen that but we also have specific roles on our team where you know our transaction coordinator is only working the files and our marketing coordinator is working with our marketing systems and you guys have maybe seen that before but we really push that out in our marketing 
and make sure that prospective clients know that. And a lot of them are drawn to us because of that specialization. So there's a couple of quick ways that we do that. Uh, looks like I have a question here on... Um, you guys don't see the link. Um, there should be a link down there for an application. If not, um, it's okay. You, you can just email me at todd at toddtramonti.com. T-O-D-D at T-O-D-D-T-R-A-M-O-N-T-E dot com. Uh, you could also reply uh, to one of the reminder emails that I sent you about, about the Hangout. So I apologize if that's not working. Like I said, I've had a couple of little technological challenges with the Hangout here today. But if you're on the, uh, if you're on the Google Plus page or your Google page, wherever you're watching this from, there should be a link below to that uh, that application. But if you're not seeing it, feel free just to email me, Todd at ToddTremonti.com, and I'll I'll make sure somebody from my team uh, sends you that application. Let me see real quick. Um, great, great. Couple people. I've had a couple people say I, I want in, and I'll send you the application. Cool. So um, first three that we get, uh, we'll get the special bonus, and then. Uh, I've got six spots available. So just to recap real quick, looks like we have a few minutes left. Um, you know, what we're talking about is consulting with me where you'll get everything that I've got. Um, like I said, it's not for everybody. Uh, it's not cheap. It's not intended to be cheap coaching. It's intended to be high-level consulting where you'll get everything you could ever want that I'm able to provide. You know, I don't certainly don't know everything, and I'm still learning all the time. But anything that I have that I could provide to you, on building your team. Specifically today we're talking about selling your listings quicker, getting top dollar for those listings and being more profitable in your per personal business. But um, there's a lot of other areas like we talked about, um, you know, onboarding a new team member, um, training your existing team, leveraging out so that your other team members or other agents can do the same things that you're working on doing so you don't have to do it all yourself or at some point you can step out and be a CEO or a manager or an owner and not have to be the top producer for the rest of your life. Um, I also do a lot of dialogue and scripting and training with our teams. It's just an area that I really enjoy language and scripting and so we do a lot of unique things in that area. Um, but just wanted to recap, you know, the monthly take and train, the monthly plug and play system, the monthly newsletter, uh, the monthly expert interview, the monthly one-on-one -on -one calls, the monthly group calls, the two annual live events here, live face-to-face -face for two days, digging into each other's businesses on the whiteboard, computers up, taking notes, taking pictures, recording audio, really breaking businesses down and rebuilding them. Uh, that's what consulting looks like, and uh, I'm looking forward to working with uh, six new folks in the very near future. Uh, so I'd love it if you fill out the application. Just make sure that when you do the application, you fill it out completely. Make sure you fill out every single line. We really need to make sure that it's a good fit. We don't want to um, just take a check from you, even if um, even if it's not a good fit. It looks like uh, we might have just lost the signal here. Nope, we're good. Um, I just had something pop up. Um, Okay, looks like the, the link is up now. If you didn't see the link before, it should be up now, so check it out right below, and uh, you can fill out that application. Um, make sure you fill it out completely, and then, like I said, we'll respond with one of two answers. Number one, maybe not a good fit right now. Uh, number two, we'd, uh, we'd like to set up a one-on-one -on -one call and go from there. And I, I don't mean to be a jerk about that, but truly, I've only got so much time to work with a few people on this and we want to make sure that I really can't help you. Uh, if you're at a point in your business where I really truly don't have a lot to offer you, then I'm going to tell you that. Now, I'm a fairly confident guy. I'm pretty sure that I have something to offer you. But if I don't, I'm going to tell you that, and it just won't make sense. You know, If it looks like you're not at a point at your business where you're ready for this level of growth, then that might be a reason that it, that it wasn't a fit. Or certainly if your business is at a point where investing in consulting is not the best financial decision for you, then, then that wouldn't be a fit to you. But again, if you're working hard, you're producing, and you want to produce more, and you're ready for someone to come alongside of you and be honest with you and really help you grow, and you're willing to put in the work, and you're ready for more profit and more differentiation and growth in your business and more fun than you've ever had, 
then I would I would love uh, to get that application, follow up with you, have a conversation, and and hopefully get started uh, working together. So uh, it looks like we have a few more minutes. I'm just gonna open it up one more time for questions, and if there's nothing else, then then uh, we'll close it out and uh, give you your day back and uh, and maybe maybe talk soon. So let me see. Um, okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. The link says I want in. If for some reason you're not seeing that, uh, there's a link on there that says I want in. Um, I think we've got pretty much everything answered on. There's a few other questions, but I think we've already answered those, so I, I won't annoy you by being redundant. Um, if you've got another question, feel free to submit that. If for somehow you had a technology problem today, um, uh, we may do another one of these. I, I'm not 100% sure. This was just kind of an experiment to see if it would be valuable for you guys and if it would, uh, you know, be a good use of our time. Um, I do periodically, you know, do a, a, a group call or something like that. But if you have questions about any of that, fill out the application and we'll go from there. Um, but I appreciate your time today. Had a ton of fun. Uh, would love to, to come alongside and help you grow your business and learn together and and uh, I'm testing a lot of things in our business right now and we're always making some changes and tweaking and improving and once we find out if it works or doesn't work then that's when I share it with my consulting clients and, and my friends in the business so uh, hopefully I'll see you guys soon and, and we'll catch up on a future call or, or a hangout or start doing business together so appreciate you showing up uh, I had fun hopefully you had fun hopefully there was a lot of value here and uh, we'll talk to you soon have a phenomenal day take care